Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shawan Burns. Please click that like button and that subscribe button. Today we are going to talk about the bill that was just passed and now it is making its way over to Trump to sign. It is called the Paycheck Protection Program Flexibility Act. This bill is to allow the small business owners to extend the use of the Paycheck protection program loan that they may have received and was not able to use the funds in time or in that eight week span. Let's go to a comment. Carla Jenkins put in my comment on tapped out my last video that I published yesterday. Would your opinion of the PPP change since both houses of Congress passed legislation to extend the time period from eight weeks to 24 weeks for the forgiveness, the loan forgiveness. Well, Carol, it's only changed just a tidbit. <laughs> and here's the reason why. I think, and this is only my opinion, I think that Congress, the bill was flawed in the first place, okay? They acted too slow. Once they realized, oh crap, not only we screwed the small business owner because they are not going to be be able to hire the these employees back because they're receiving monies from the pandemic unemployment insurance. So now you do have business owners that were scrambling to spend this money and probably wasted it. They probably spent the money on employees that they didn't need making. You know how you make stuff up for people to do something and that totally, totally goes against the grain of being a small business owner. When you're a small business owner, you get creative, you try to cut costs. You don't want to waste money. Even if the money is forgivable, you still don't want to waste it. So, yeah, I'm glad that they extended what genius told them they should have did it in the first place. I don't know. Probably the small business committee, maybe they they were hearing from their constituents saying, hey, this is a recipe for disaster and they acted on it, but they acted too slow because here we're in the first week of June and that second round of funding is almost gone. So you already have people that probably scrambled to spend their money in that eight week time because we've, we've been shut down more than eight weeks, you know, so I'm indifferent about it. I think it's still a bunch of crap. Okay, you gave me 24 weeks. If the savviest business owner, they found out they couldn't spend the money on payroll, 75% on payroll. Maybe they were just saving the money, putting it in a savings account um, until they had to pay the money back and they'll just give it back. Now they're allowed to do more things with it. And now that the economy is open or we so-called open, they're probably they probably be able to spend it on payroll if they call their workers back. So in this bill, they're not only extending it for 24 weeks, you have the flexibility to use 60 percent for payroll expenses. Instead of the 75 percent. So now you have 40 percent that you could use probably on rents and utilities. It didn't really, really say that, but you're still eligible for 100 percent loan forgiveness. It didn't say, oh, the 40% has to be on rent and utilities. I don't know if they changed that language or not, but hey, and to me, that is a good thing. You Now you do have some flexibility on spending on rent. And normally, you probably, if, you, if you, you're if you paying rent in California, you probably need it, okay? If you're paying rent in D.C., hey, if you're on the main strip in Michigan, that main strip, on, on Hall Road is twenty nine square, uh, twenty nine dollars a square foot. So if you're on that main strip, your your lease rent is high. So you're gonna need that money. The article that I'm getting my information from is called The Watch, and it said the House passed at four hundred and seventeen to one. I would like to know who is that one person. <laughs> like, what? you know what America reminds me of now. <laughs> and this is I'm not trying to compare it to another country. Uh, we do a lot of construction work and I, my first ever construction job in my business, big construction job, the first one I ever get, um, 
I went on a job and the job was like a big cluster F bomb <laughs> where you have, they were working on the walls, like the framing part. And then they were still trying to put in windows, the window frames. <laughs> it's like, what is going on here? And then they wanted us to install the blinds. Well, you don't have no windows up yet. It's like, oh, when are you going to get in to install these blinds? Uh, our blinds are here, but no windows are in. <laughs> so this is what it reminds me of. It's like chaotic. And I'm laughing at it to keep from crying, but it's like real chaotic. It's like. No one planned for chaos, but no one planned for the pandemic. And I think you should always have a plan in case. I mean, if you're if you're leading a country, my my thought process says, OK, what if we have a massive outbreak of something? What if we have. If the economy goes bad, what if our ally allies go bad? What what if scenario do you think, you know, for so many people to be running this country, not only the president, you think these will be like plans and it seemed like we don't have a plan um, for. You know, even the unrest, the civil unrest with people are upset about the inhumane treatment of black people. You know, you have one side of the political party that sympathized in the, you know, or over sympathy, you know, Oh, I hear you. I sympathize with you, but you don't, you're not doing that. And then you have the other one. Oh, you're anarchist or you're extreme. You want to protest. And then they want to, um, the president wants to use military force on American people. <laughs> like, like, what country is this? <laughs> like, it is a big, I don't know. So with the PPP, do I like it? I like the changes. But I still, I still think it's just, um, I think it's a bunch of BS, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I think it's just... You know, people scrambling. It's, it's not a real thought out thing. You know, I know you have to compromise when you have a hundred people in the Senate or a hundred some odd people in the Senate. And then you have 400 congressional House members or whatever. So I know you have to compromise. I know all the people won't agree on everything. But when they when they're not agreeing, who's suffering at the expense of who? And it's quite frankly, it's, ex, it's the, at the expense, the people who elected th these people is that ex, at, at the expense of us. One last thing I want to point out, and this was noted in the watch. Rubio made a comment that he support the bill. OK. This is in quotation marks. It's better than not doing anything. But then he added, people need to know that the way the Treasury has told us they are going to interpret that bill. If you spend 60% of your money on payroll, oh, if I'm sorry, I digress. If you don't spend 60% of your money on payroll and spend 59.9%, you will get zero forgiveness. I, I think we could fairly say that they are going to be looking at the monies where you spent this loan in a fine detail. And if any discrepancies, they can tell you, no, we're not forgiving your loan amount. You must pay us the full amount back. When you submit in your requirements documentation in the application for loan forgiveness, you have to make sure that you spend 60%, not 59.9. Because if they've gone down to the 10th decimal point, we are going to have a lot of people, loans that are not forgiven. And once again, the people 
the smaller companies like myself and other people, I, I do have an accountant, but the smaller companies that do not pay their accountant and maybe have a bookkeeper and see their account once, once a year, those are the people that's going to suffer. And you might say, oh, Shawan, you, you, so they should be able to calculate 59.9%. Have you ever, when you first got in business, um, and I'm talking to the people that didn't have a roadmap, when you first got in business for yourself, that first year you had to do taxes, where were your receipts at? Did you have a spreadsheet that you kept? <laughs> put that in the comment section oh yeah I was all I had those all organized I had this spreadsheet I kept and we have today people been in business for years and their record keeping is still a mess and not to say they're a bad business owner but that's not why they got in business to be an accountant so quite frankly those records probably going to be a mess so my suggestion to you if you did take out the PPP loan hopefully you put that loan in a separate account um so you could kind of prove where those funds went that would have been the best thing and if you didn't keep keep it in a separate account hopefully you have records i would like to hear from you if you had if you received the ppp loan and you already spent it what did you spend your PPP on? And are you like, oh, crap, I had time. Did you spend it on, you know, oh, I guess I'll hire this employee back. <laughs> and you didn't really want to. <laughs> or was it like, okay, I'm going to keep my money. So let me know what, what did you do with your monies? And if you, you're glad, you're glad that this bill was passed. And so it could give you some type of flexibility and extend that loan time period for you to spend the money. So I am sending all my good to you and I will talk to you soon.